So make sure you guys sub up Discovery Bay Comics as well. He's got all kinds of crazy bells. He reminds me of Crazy Benny Stereo World, if that's what it is. And he sounds like Casey Kasem. So there you go. That's a throwback for all you old people who understand that stuff. And so uh, Discovery Bay doing some amazing work with your uh, daily live streams, essentially serving as a, uh, a TV guide of sorts to uh, all the YouTube community related to, to comics and toys and all that kind of stuff. So shout out to you, brother. Thank you for being on the live stream. Here. I appreciate Discovery Bay for sticking with me, helping with the ranch. Go follow him on YouTube. He does a lot of great work for the community. I've received some new viewers to my channel because of his. So if you have a YouTube channel also, make sure you reach out to JB and let them know what your content's about. Because JB's fantastic. He enjoys giving back to the YouTube community. And this video, I think, is such a valuable resource. And I don't think a lot of people are aware of it. So that's why I want to spotlight it in this first ever Tuber Tuesdays YouTube video. He does a lot of other videos on his channel as far as comic hauls, mystery boxes in. He unboxes his eBay hauls, his auction wins. If you love comics, you definitely want to check his channel out. Especially if it's just for the one resource of the community guide. But definitely check out all his other videos as well. He's got a lot of great comic related content. Now, I have another thing for you guys because this is very important to me. We have Discovery Bay Comics. And you might be familiar with this gentleman who's actually on my channel before. He is also close to a thousand subscribers. And if you are not subscribed to Discovery Bay Comics, you should be because every day he puts out a comic book channel guide so you can find all the comic book channels you want and all the different shows that come out that day. I will put a link down below for Discovery Bay Comics. Well, hello everybody, I'm JB and welcome to another edition of What's On Today with Discovery Bay. That's right, the home to the YouTube comic book and Funko Pop community channel guide or the YouTube TV guide for the comic book and Funko Pop community. And this is the show where I'm going to give you my top picks from the sea of content that's been released. And then we are going to run down the lineup of content creators that have either scheduled a release via Premiere or are going live. Now, before we get to that lineup, we're going to break for a segment titled the Instagram Tag of the Day. And then after that lineup, we are going to open another random package from that crazy, stupid pile of comic books I have in a segment titled What's in the Box Already? Now, I've got another guest in a new format. Hopefully, everybody's digging the new layout that I spent many, many hours on. And today's guest is com. Oh, it's not updated. It is Comic Man Andy. Sorry about that, Andy. Let me reset that. And I can't wait to share the new layouts that we're going to show off his channel with today. And I'm really looking forward to that. New format to the show, folks. So hopefully you're enjoying it. St uh, sit back, relax, and enjoy. As always, after that, which I've completely butchered the read already. I'm already 10 minutes late. Butchered the read. After that, We'll talk about Friday's giveaway. That's right, how you can enter Friday's giveaway and how simple it is. We'll get to that at the end. As always, I will be dropping the Comic Pop Family hashtag on one of the videos in the top picks list, and that will also get you an entry into Friday's uh, show. Now, if you are uh, watching for the first time, <laughs> God, I butchered this one, man, and you're enjoying the show, go ahead and give me a like. Hit the subscribe button if you're not already subscribed and hit that bell because I'm going to be going live more often in my new revamped schedule here. And I'm about to shout out a bunch of channels. You know what might happen today? Do you have any idea? You could find your new favorite channel today. How cool would that be? All right, folks. Hey, we got the first super chat of the day from Fox Brown. He says, JB comes. Well, I'll actually get to that up in the next segment because that is the next segment, folks. What is up next? Oh, you know what time it is? I actually, I don't even know if I have the chat loaded. I am so off for this show. Let's go ahead and load up the chat so we can share it on the screen um, with my new setup here that looks really good. But of course, the show is well on its way to the train wreck that it normally is. So if you're uh, joining me and I appreciate everybody who is hanging out with us while I'm uh, just really attempting to not butcher this any, even worse than it is. You know what the best part is, is I'm going to add what we call chapters to this when it's over, and you're going to be able to skip ahead 
to whatever segment you like the most, and it's probably not going to be this fumbling around segment, you'll be able to skip ahead to the segment you like most and pop that in there. Let me go over here to browser and pop in this current chat, which is that one. Hit OK and show it. No. And show it. There it is. There's the chat, folks. Let's get on over to StreamYard so we can highlight some of these comments. Say hi to the people who are joining us. There's 39 people who are still hanging out, even though this is a train wreck at best. And I can see Batman Popster is in with a hashtag Geek Squad. Agu, the Agu Rhythm is also here, as well as Southern Comic Geek, Glenn Smith, Unuseful Unboxing, and congratulations to the uncanny Kyle Waka, who just crested 900 subscribers. He's on his way to 1,000. There are two other channels that are on their way to 1,000. Joker M21 and Mama J. Let's get all three of those to 1,000. Wouldn't that be great? The Varangian Vigilante is here, and Yessie Luke Comics was tailgating early. Man, I would check that out. I put a link in uh, the chat so you guys could check him out. Check him on the rewind. Dead Zone Citizen is here. I'll give him the love. Thank you for that logo, my friend. Dead Zone Citizen. And the Varangian Vigilante is, I believe you are in the live stream lineup. Yes, you are, my friend. You're in the live stream lineup. Comic Man Andy, who's today's guest, is backstage. Can't wait to bring him up when we get to that portion of the show. Mama J is also hanging out, as I mentioned, close. 48 subscribers away from Mama J getting to a thousand. Poppin' Sons is here. I appreciate you uh, for hanging out. Who else is here? I want to make this one quick. Kate Titus from Japan is hanging out with us as well as Not Near Mint. Uh, greetings from Michigan. Jack B's boxes. I don't know if it's sold out already. Jack B, just sell out that box already. Jack B's doing a fun razor mystery box. You remember it was the hashtag Comic Pop Family. I do believe it last Thursday. Um, check that one out. Who else do we have with us? Simon R is in the chat. I appreciate you. We may not highlight everybody because I got to get through this one, but Perry Comics is here. Beta Ray Jim, LBD, Funk Comics 814. Foxy, there it is. He had a super chat early. He says Jack B Comics still has five charity boxes left, folks. There are five charity boxes left. It'll be well worth it. And contributions are going to charity. Beta Ray Jim is also here. Air Spider 23. Man, we got a great big crowd today. Cyborg Dad, Geeky Mama Bear. Only three left with the update from Jack B. Folks, that is the shout out. Let's get to the next segment of the show. Man, this has been a train wreck, but let's keep it going. Welcome to today's top picks. <laughs> All right, we got a new layout, everybody. I want to get your opinion on this. Does it look pretty good? I've been spending a lot of time on these. And let's start with today's top picks. And, oh, you know what I forgot to do? Oh, man, you know what? I got to go back there now. I know what's going to happen when I go back there. All that stuff's going to fire. I got to. I got to go back here. Sorry. Turn that off. And I will turn the lower thirds off. Sorry. I forgot a couple things. I got to shout out the coffee mug, which Bueller reminded me. Shout out to... Travis, a.k.a. Comics with Bueller, for sending me this fantastic coffee mug. Nobody sends me a coffee mug, everybody. That's a sticker, by the way. Mm. And I will take that awkward sip of coffee and coffee. Shout out Bueller. Crushing right now. 12,600 subscribers. If you're not familiar with Comics with Bueller, go check him out. Also, my t-shirt sponsor for back-to-back -back days, the Comic Core again. On Friday, and then again on Monday, this is my Modern Men shirt. I used to be part of the Modern Men crew. Comic Man Andy is part of that crew. And when we get to today's unboxing, it is brought to us courtesy of Rob Boswell. So thank you very much, all three of you. Let me get back to today's top picks. All right, let's get to the new layout. And in the top pick spot, in the top spot of the top picks, Monday. So you know what that means. Go check out Bueller and Bob, or Travis and Bob. Everything comics and Comics with Bueller collaborate every Monday morning on this fantastic video. They're reading comments from the viewers, and I like the beginning five and the ending five that they have where they share their comic books. It's always going to be in the top picks on Monday mornings, folks. Go check out Bueller and Tra uh, Bob and Travis over at Comics with Bueller. All right, next up, I had them as my hashtag uh, Comic Pop Family last Monday, but man, you guys got to check out Chuck and Shauna over at um, I got this one loaded up, actually. Look at this. Go and check out Chuck and Shauna over at 
chuckload of comics. See how that works? And then right there is when you're supposed to play the bump. Go check out Chug at Chuckload of Comics. And no, I can't even find the bump. Never mind. All right, let's move to the next one. Jason. Okay. I mentioned this. I know it's from Saturday. I know it's from Saturday. But this is still worthy. This is one of the best shows going right now. JP's budget collecting looks back six months at the list. And you know what's cool about this one is this is right around the time that he started also giving you his opinion on the list. Because there's another show where he gives you real-time opinion. And bam, there you go. You've got this one every Saturday. One of the top picks, Are They Still Hot, is what it's called. All right. Geek Aficionado's in there, man. It's in there. You were in the, you're in the live stream, man. Chill out. All right. Who else do we got in the top picks? Super Russ 9000 got a super cool AOK -okay from my man George over at D-Run Comics. You remember George? He was my comic pop family hashtag last week, which will get you an entry into this Friday's prize. All right, next up, hashtag Larry. I think it's the first time I ever had him in there, but when you get a guest spot by Aiden, you're in. Poppin' Sons Aiden, swinging into hashtag Larry and dropping a little cameo on him. All right, another first-timer, Magic Lasso is in the top picks because she got an A-OK -okay from Comic Foo 2814. That's right. Are you part of the Foo crew? I'm part of the Foo crew. Go check it out. All right. This one I haven't gotten to yet, but man, every single time I've seen a video from this guy, it has been fantastic. So I absolutely automatically put it in today's top picks and, and it's my comic pop family hashtag of the day and I don't have a graphic for it. Who's, who do I got in the moderators? Do I got any moderators? Somebody drop me a link to the comic intellect PN. Go drop that hashtag comic pop family on him. I will drop a link in this video as soon as it's over. This one's going to be my hashtag comic pop family. He always makes me laugh. I bet it's going to be worth it. Let's check him out. All right. Now, I mentioned Weird on the Push, folks. If you are new to my channel and you are not familiar with Mama J. Mm, 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 that's right. Mama J is in the top picks again with. These are really cool, man. Aerosmith. And Elvis Funkos with all kinds of other cool memorabilia. Mama J in the top picks 48 subscribers away, folks, from 1K. All right. Next up, what's next in the show? Let me get over here. What's next up? It's time to go into today's live stream playlist after the Instagram tag of the day. That's right. But we're going to go back over to this layout, and then I just need to add a new text. We're just going to add a new thing because I'm so late today. We're going to add a new text string called text IG. And if you're ever familiar with OBS, that's how easy it is to kind of change things on the fly. I'm going to go ahead and grab text IG, and then we're going to hide the other text, the top picks, and we're going to keep the same layout, which is what I should have been doing the whole time. So text top goes quiet. Text top goes quiet and text IG not goes quiet sorry text ig gets moved into place let's do the instagram tag of the day folks man this is one of my favorite segments if you want to be part of this show it's super easy all you got to do is tag me on instagram let's go see what's going on on the instagrams we don't want to be in my messages we want to be in my profile that's where we want to be in the profile by the way today's latest share was my 1000th post this share from last Friday's quick draw became my 1,000th post on the Instagram page. And we are only seven followers away, folks, from 2,500 followers on the IGs. The Z is for Foxy. And let's go over and see what we got tagged in today, folks. I want to work from down back so I know my last share was that um, the last share that I did was down here, Negan. So we want to come up. We're looking for comic pop after the Negan. And I think my first comic pop after the Negan is this one right here. So we're going with this one. Comic Crusader. Ooh, he's got comic book, Funko Pop, action figure. He's getting all three of them in there. And he's definitely getting the share. The Comic Crusader is part of the show. Thank you so much. Who else is in here with comic books and Funko Pops? Because yeah, this is over the weekend. Now this stuff's a little bit old. Now we get over here. Bam! Mr. Comics AOG, man, wow, look at these. 
He got himself a spider Gwen, so now he you're just taking these next level. I know you're having a good time with this. It's called Multiple Spider-Man Monday is the tag, and it will also get the IG comic pop pick of the day tag when I share that one. That is awesome, Matt. Awesome. All right, what else have we got? Ooh, Simon coming strong. I like it. Oh, I'm jelly of that pop. Look at that one. Hall of Justice. Robin Comic Books, Simon, getting the share today with a sweet haul of justice. That is awesome. All right, who else we got here? Super Power, I hope you're in the live stream lineup. Is this in the live stream lineup? If it's not in the live stream lineup, Super Power is going live today, 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you're not in that live stream lineup, I don't think you are. Batman Popster. Ooh, baby, this is awesome. Look at this one. No action figure. What? No action figure. It's all right. You don't have to have an action figure every day. The fact that you actually participate every day is what's important. And I really, really appreciate you, Batman Popster, for participating. Southern Comic Geek says Mutant Monday. He's down for the Mutant Monday call. There it is. You're going to get to share, my friend. Who else do we got? There they are. Two boys in there, Pops. Didn't let me down. They've got the comic book. Ooh, I want this. Is that a, is that a Captain America shield? I got to get down with that Captain America shield. Go check out two boys in their pops, folks. And what? I got one more. Two more. Two more. Two more. Geeky Mama Bear throwing up the Superior Spider-Man team up number five with the pop. And the final one of the day, folks. A new one. I'm not familiar with it. G-Dog in the Turtle. G-Dog in the Turtle with Mutant Monday. Getting the share today. People are going to go check out G-Dog in the Turtle Thank you, everybody, who participated in that segment of the show. Let's get to today's live stream lineup. No. So we're going to go back to the top picks, and then you know what I got to do, folks. I'm sorry. I got to add another. I got to add another text. I wasn't ready. I made the graphic, but this will be called text live and okay and then i'll go grab text live we'll hide ig tag of the day and that's how simple it is i don't want to change all kinds of new scenes i just want the new um the new one little portion of the layer to be different so we'll we'll go ahead and hide that one and we'll move today's live stream playlist into play and we will get to it folks let's get to today's live stream playlist as i mentioned earlier yesy lou was actually tailgating early and i love it tailgating also you can tailgate five days a week over at second street marvel with trinity because he is live every day right in that same time slot uh same bleh, same time slot and then perry i don't understand this one so i wonder if you're gonna get just as many views saying you watched it for the second time because damn i'm gonna start saying i watched this one for the 10th time i could say i watched uh, uh, star wars for like a hundredth time anyway Check out Perry, Spider-Man Far From Home for the second time. I don't know if it's going to be as interesting for the second time, but there you go. All right, at 10.30 at the bottom of the hour, folks, when this show ends, go check out my man Unuseful Unboxing as he's got some toilet ninjas. I don't know what that is. They look funny as hell, though. They look pretty funny. Toilet ninjas, go check them out. All right, who else do we got in the live stream lineup, folks? It is a jam-packed one. Big Will. All right, folks, ready? Micah's Mystery Box, buy it, is premiering at 11 a.m. If you want the details on what's going down in this mystery box, and you know how we feel about the mystery boxes, go check this video out over at Big Wheel Comics. <laughs> All right, next up, I love saying this name, the Varangian Vigilante. He's got an AOK -okay from Magic Lasso, who is also in the top picks, and the Savage Back Issues from the Hyborian Age. Ooh, I hope I said that right. Okay, what do we got next? Okay, superior. No, no, don't, no, don't sleep on fantastic comics, especially when we're talking about Grant Morrison's Green Lantern. Fantastic Comics presents Grant Morrison's Green Lantern season series two, number two. That's a good. That's a good channel, folks. Go check him out. Premiering in three hours, 1.30 p.m. Pacific, 4.30 p.m. Eastern. Now we get to Superior Hero Reviews. Superior Hero Reviews, the first CGC unboxing and Mail Call Monday. And man, I hope your first CGC unboxing goes better than mine. Because mine was a train wreck. All right. Next up, we've got Homespun Geek at 4 p.m. Pacific, 7 p.m. Eastern. And guess what? He's got Mama J on there. And as I said, she was 48 subs away from 1,000. 
And who else we got? We got Unicorns and Two Flowers Dos Florecitas. Love saying that name, too. That's a good one. All right. Get back to the live stream playlist, folks. A couple more. Rob Boswell. My man, Rob Boswell. As a matter of fact, Rob Boswell. Rob, where are you at, Rob Boswell? Is Rob Boswell in here? Because I got the new, the new and improved Rob Boswell. <laughs> I don't know if it stopped already. I'm over here humming to myself. Anyway, go check out Rob Boswell. He is going, premiere, premiere video. What's your birthday comic? I love birthday comics, by the way. What is your birthday comic and how to find every comic? Oh, dude, dude. Oh, I'm down with this. How to find every comic published month, year, tip, trick. Awesome. I am absolutely hitting the reminder for that one. We got to find out how you can find all the comics that were published in the year of your birth. That is freaking cool, Rob Boswell. I bet you that goes viral, man. That's a that's a that's a that one can go viral. Seriously. All right. Next up, we've got the Geek Aficionado, and he's bringing us what's in the box. He's opening a Grail from CGC and some CPR books. I don't know what CPR means. Guess what? Who his guest is today? Do you see it? Do you see it? That's right. Comic Man Andy's the guest. He's also my guest. He's on a worldwide tour as well as first edition comics. Another great new YouTuber. All right, let's go to the long the long view of this one and see what we got to finish out today's live stream lineup, folks. We've got, there he is. Mr. Comics 89 is giving you the 17th episode. I believe you're right. I think this is seven. This is 18. I'm just throwing it out there. I thought you had 17 last time, but I could be wrong. I'm probably wrong. My collection, episode 17, Superior Spider-Man. Go check out Matt over at Mr. Comics 89. Home of the great IG tags and popular opinion. My guest last week. That's right. It's Monday. So you know what that means? He's got the wheel of misfortune. It's going to be tough to beat last week's wheel of misfortune when you had beer to pops. But man, you've got the six Spinelli versus JT Funko fines. This is going to be fun. I love the game shows. Check him out. All right. What else we got? Three more. Tommy and the new guinea pig collective are talking old school. I am telling you, if I go look this up, I bet you we're the same age. I swear, because his old school is right in my wheelhouse. Go check out Tommy in the new guinea pig. Two more metas, midnight market. Did I I did I did download the new one, didn't I? I did download the new one. No, I didn't. Oh shit. <laughs> I'm sorry. Meta's got a new buffer, but he's got the midnight market tonight, 7 p.m. Pacific, 10 p.m. Eastern, midnight somewhere. And he's gonna have new sellers. And I love the new branding. Look at all of the new branding metas rocking. And the final thing, you know what? It's Monday. So I know Modern Men's going off today. It's not up yet. Or maybe if it's up, I didn't catch it. But Modern Men is normally up on Monday. That's why I'm wearing the t-shirt. Modern Men is on Comic Core. Comic Core has content five nights a week. We're going to talk about that when we get our guest Andy on the show. But the last item in the live stream playlist, folks, is CBSI. Tales from the Flipside presents Collecting and Comic Book Market Report. Flipside Comic Podcast, episode number 130. These dudes are crazy mad knowledgeable. Swing on through and check out what they got going. All right, folks. That was that. You know what time it is. That's the live stream. So we've gone through the shout out. We've gone through the live stream. We've gone through uh, the Instagram tag of the day. And what am I looking for now? There it is. Let me make sure that that's loaded. For some reason, that wasn't loaded in there. And next up, this is the next segment we're going to get to. I'm not going to open up the box now. We're going to go ahead and bring in our guest. And to do that, I have got to change this because what did I say I was going to be on? I needed to be on just like regular old camera, I do believe. Yeah, I'm going to change to regular old camera after I introduce Andy. And by the way, it is Monday. Monday. It's Monday. Ooh. Ooh, it's Monday. Ah. Ooh, it's Monday. <laughs> Is this my cue to stop picking my nose? Huh? What do you guys <laughs> think of that? Welcome to the stream, my man, comic man, Andy, and welcome to the new set for the interview. 
So, Andy, Ooh. I have just got to say, you, my friend, are the inaugural or the first visitor to the new set. I'm going to try and make this a more uh, kind of interview friendly kind of show. And thank you for being my guinea pig. Actually, everybody, Andy was on last night to help me set this up. I could not get this set up without his help. So I really do appreciate Andy coming in. So let's get started. For anybody that's watching, you're not familiar, comic man, Andy, tell us about yourself. I'm going to give you the floor. Remember, we got I got this. Remember, we laid this one out. So I'm going to give you the floor in this new layout. And I want you to give us a quick little intro to comic man, Andy. Bam and bam. Hey, yeah, Comic Man Andy. Uh, just really love talking about comic books. And then I discovered this community, decided to jump on and do a YouTube channel, start hanging out with everybody. And uh, then found the Comic Core and got inaugurated into the Comic Core and welcomed wholeheartedly into Monday Night's Modern Men, which I overslept and forgot to schedule today. So that's on me. <laughs> and uh, since then, it's just been about having a great time and talking comic books with people and then uh, they asked me to try to do something on thursday nights so i'm just doing random fun stuff on thursday nights as well in my channel i like to experiment much like jb finding different new fun things to do that's kind of where that's like my own little test bed where i mess with editing and what i want to change up on live streaming and stuff like that well that's fantastic andy i appreciate you coming on the show so how long have you been doing youtube Actually, this is a year now, actually. A year, right? So, yeah, I got to turn like this. But originally, you weren't really putting a lot of content on your channel. You were basically the person who was always showing up on everyone else's channel. Now it looks like there's a little bit bigger focus to highlight your channel. A little, a little bit. Um, like I've been a, a YouTube. I've been on YouTube since 2014, but I never did anything with the channel. I never did anything at all. Um. And then it just became uh, hanging out with everybody. Well, then there's more opportunity to talk about what you want to talk about and what you want to do on your own channel. Well, and there's a journey to be had there with editing content and learning how to live stream and setting up lights and all this other stuff. So, I mean, if you're going to make mistakes, I like to make mistakes on my channel and learn there. Yeah. So um, I know that you're a guest on the Pinkies Out podcast. How long have you been on that one? Oh, uh, that's approaching like 10 months. And then obviously our current world situation kind of put a damper on that. We did just get together and do a massive episode a couple of weekends ago. We actually rented a site at a campground, <laughs> pulled in a big camper, and we drank a six-year vertical of a 15% beer where the three of us sat Holy there. moly. And it took us four hours. And it's it's an epic episode and they're editing it now trying to get it uploaded but uh hopefully that'll be done soon and it's on pinkies out podcast on anchor fm and you can find it on all your typical podcasting applications very cool very cool so what i want to do next is i want to kind of want to show everybody out there who's watching us we're going to give them a quick little preview of your page so we're going to go check out your uh page here and i got a different <laughs> different uh, layout for this one remember yeah one. We were going over this, and I'm like, oh, wow. Yeah, I really do need yeah, to update time, the graphics. Time to upgrade the graphics a little bit. We're going to go ahead and check out the homepage you've got going on here. And um, there's more than – so we've got this Monday mail call. We've also got a lot of unboxings because you buy a lot of stuff. So your Monday your Monday is your normal unboxing day. Oh, it's not in here because you did it on Comicore. I wanted to show that – oh, I love this – I love this one, this epic grail achievement. I wanted to show you had a live on Thursdays with Comic Core, and the last Thursdays was really viewed. It was a hot topic conversation. You got some of the guys from CBSI on, and people got heated. I, yeah. I'm not trying to pull this out, but man, anytime you get 50 thumbs down on a video, oh, well, there's more than that. Plus, if it was hot, hot. So, so that's what I, I like to do that on Thursday Thursday nights. Andy Given Thursdays on the Comic Core is really looking at taking a subject matter or a topic and mm -hmm. breaking it down. Like it's not a show where we're speculating on our on our typically our favorite books. We're not talking about specific uh, issues. We're talking about what that meant to those guests on there. How do they define it? How do they break it down? How what kind of a role does it play for them? It's really kind of like an interview show. And uh, I want to bring this one up. So it's called it's comic book speculation chat, son. 
So it's a playoff of Mighty of Mel V's It's Drunken Chat Son on Friday nights. Because <laughs> well, Mel, Mel V was a guest. I'm a big fan of Comic Core. Not everybody's a big fan. I'm a big fan of Comic Core. I love the fact that they give the platform because Comic Core isn't really a person. It's more of a, a group of people. And they give the platform to all these different people to do all this different content to reach all these different niches. And some of the niches are really followed and some of them aren't. As you can see by views, if we were going to go look at the last 12 videos on Comic Core, you know, 100, 100, 194, 120, 100, and bang! 562 views for its comic book speculation chat son i think you should keep that one going every thursday but once you bring i want to be a guest on thursday and talk that subject with you yeah that's something it's something worth revisiting because honestly uh it has a different meaning to different uh, viewers and, and different guests so the show's going to be different every time you talk to different guests. And that's great having that platform because what I really like to do is when you get people that are in disagreement about something and when you disagree, you debate. When you have a healthy debate, it creates knowledge and awareness. And, and me personally doing this Thursday show, I really become a richer person and a more knowledgeable person. And I hope that the guests and the viewers also get that out of that as well. Because uh, at the end of the day, they're funny books, man. They're comic books, and we all love talking about them, and we all love have differing opinions and differing ideas. So having, you know, debates back and forth is really fun, in my opinion. And that you know, sometimes they they're less about debates and they're more about just babbling back and forth, and they go off, off, uh, off the rails sometimes. But it's a blast. All right. So also, you're on the Instagrams, you're on the IGs. Let's go check out the Instagrams here and uh, tell me what you, what's your purpose here. I love this one. This is really great, man. <laughs> so I found, I found that and, and laughed. Uh, the at home Comic Con was really talked about quite a bit, but unfortunately, the live viewers couldn't comment and couldn't participate. Oh but man! Kind of what that came yeah. from. We're mainframe Comic Con coming up in a week and a half here. All the viewers will be able to comment. They'll be able to participate. They'll be able to ask questions. So that's a major difference between those two uh, online conventions. But the Instagram. You know, you guys watching you guys on YouTube really got me on Instagram a little over a year ago. And it's just kind of like an easy, easier, simpler platform. Take one picture, post it, tag a couple people and discuss back and forth. And my favorite part of that is always going to be Wednesday's new comic book days, seeing what other people are into. Yeah, for sure. For sure. I love Instagram, man. I'm all over. I use it more for, you know, uh, communicating with people. It seems to be the fastest way to communicate with people that, you know, or the Facebook uh, instant messenger. Um, I'm mostly a sharer. I like to share, especially the way we got the show. Now, if you tag me, I, I share the comic book Funko pop pictures. Uh, I also share those on my Facebook, by the way. So if, if you, if anybody notices, they're starting to catch a little bit more traffic on the Facebook, it's cause those posts have you all over them. And if you've got a corresponding Facebook, uh, page and someone liked it, it'll tell them, Hey, you liked this. And they also have that. So. All right, Andy, so what's next for you? I know that you've got uh, lots of content coming on the show. Is it your goal? I know some people are their goal. I got to get to a thousand. I want to be monetized. That's always kind of a the back, you know, the back of your mind goal. Is that something that you're looking forward to or not really? You're just kind of doing it for fun. Uh, yeah, my goal first and foremost is always going to be fun. And uh, as people interact, it becomes more fun for me. So the more people that comment and the more people that hang out and talk, it's, it's a blast for me. I really enjoy it with the seeing what else is what else uh or what other things people are into with pops action figures toys uh the other different comic books like low print run low press stuff that you can't find that's kind of like the aficionado stuff that's really cool yeah uh, so it's about hanging out and having a good time uh monday night modern men that's exactly it finding a good book not well, well not just finding it but the community gets to vote on what we read over on the comic court community tab now in the last year I mean, and I, I had to drop out because of its time, guys. You know, I made that commitment to the family that after a certain period of time, when mom gets home, I'm supposed to be off the camera. But man, Modern Men is a great book club. And if I just read some of the titles and I'm staring at, I mean, I have my Modern Men trade straight ahead. And we're, you know, Watchmen, Black Hammer, Oblivion Song, uh, Southern Bastards, Saga. I mean, think we have read some of the best stuff out there. And it doesn't stop. What, what's what's tonight's read? Uh, tonight is going to be Zadarsky's Daredevil run, one of the most slept on ongoing series Absolutely. right now. Absolutely. Great run. Great yep. run. If you're not on Zadarsky's current Daredevil run. Now, uh, let's be honest. 
I, I think issues one, two, it didn't really get going until a little bit later. It, it's a slow burn, but it now it's 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 definitely been on fire. It's been on fire for a while. So, so it's always a topic. There's always a great topic on Modern Men. So what's tonight's topic for Modern Men? Uh, like I said, I overslept and forgot to schedule it. So Carson's got that information here in the chat. He might Carson, have it. What is it, man? Oh, Carson says you are welcome back anytime. I appreciate that, Mr. Woodard. Geek aficionado um, still hanging out. Are there any questions for Andy in the chat? If you have a question, there it is. Funny. Funny. Have you ever read Saga? A couple of times, maybe. Uh, but. So if, if we look behind you, which actually I want to, I do want to highlight this, and, and I'm going to put you big, but I'm not going to put the thing over the top of you so nobody, everybody can see what's behind you. So let's take this off. Oh. You're a huge Saga fan. Just a and bit. Punisher fan. Just How a bit. How many Saga ones do you own? Eight. Oh, they're all up there. Eight. Every uh, every single one of them is uh, nine twenty. Uh, let's see. Raw, see raw, 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 cop, raw copies. I think there are eleven different covers, and I think graded. I'm at like eight or nine. You couldn't see them when I had that overlay on there, man. Ooh. So why now? Tell the people because there's a reason. There's a, actually a, a really super awesome reason why Saga is important to you. And if you don't mind sharing that with uh, with the people watching us, why is Saga important to you? So I took a long break from reading comic books, um, quite a long break. And uh, after a long while, you know, you get married and decide to want to start a family. Uh, we received that news one time that we weren't going to be able to have a family. We wouldn't be able to have children. So at that point, you really reevaluate your five-year plan, your 10-year plan. And we sat down one time over a beer and like, well, let's get back into hobbies. Let's get back into some of the stuff that we love to do. So, of course... I wanted to get back into comic books. First time I walk into that shop and I go to that LCS and I'm like, what have I missed out? What do I need to read right now? Getting back into this. And they hand me that saga book, that saga trade paperback. And this was 2014 or 2015. So saga had been out for a couple of years at that point. And, uh, you know, after receiving news like that, like you got to rethink your life. You, that you're not going to have kids that you open up saga the first thing you see is she's having a baby. She's yeah, having she a baby is. right quick. Right now. So right I took I took that trade and I threw it right across the room, right at the wall. You're Done. upset. You're like, oh, I yeah, can't believe it, this guy suggests this book to me. And in the first page, you're gonna go ahead and and hit me where it hurts the most. Wow. Yeah, and it seems like sometimes when bad news hits and it rolls, it just tends to hit really hard and just keeps coming back at you and keep throwing getting thrown in your face. But the funny thing was is Two weeks after I picked that up and I read those first two pages, two oh, about two weeks after that, we found out we were pregnant. Ah, there you go. Oh. So that is just gives me tingles every time you say it, man. I can't tell you how many people are watching there just went, what? So if that's not the universe speaking to me, I don't know what is. That's awesome. Congratulations on that. And, uh, and the family and the channel and the growth of the channel. And thank you so much for being on with me today. Everybody, I've got links to Comic Man Andy's page in the description of this video to his Instagram. And Andy is a Patreon creator to your supporter. So there is always a link to his channel on my homepage. And every video and all the content that he drops will always be added to the Patreon creator tier playlist. Andy, once again, if you want to hang out, my next segment is going to be the open the box. If you want to kind of hang out, we'll just, I'm going to go big screen. We'll push you off to the side if you don't mind. Oh, yeah, I'll hang out, man. Oh, thank you very much, Comic Man Andy. And let's go ahead and take this one off of here. We'll I'll grab a little one. box behind me and I'll open it with you. Over to here. And I've got a package here. Actually, let me get this queued up. because You know, I didn't do the overlay anyway. Let me screw that. God. So late today, folks. So late today. So what we'll do is we'll go to what's in the box working. And I know it's a comic book. Um, I think it's a comic book. And it's from Rob Boswell. Rob Boswell sent me a package. And you know what I, you know what I feel? Man, I hope that's what it's, what's in here, Rob. Um, you know how we got the... Um, it feels like those wood, the wood borders, which are so cool. If you don't know what I'm talking about, um, a great member of the community is uh, also a cabinet maker. Uh, his name is Big Snake. Um, oh, no, it's not the wood ones. But he did, he did this thing where he made custom wood uh, kind of sandwich boards so that you could ship. And then people have been, you know, recycling those and putting their names on them. Uh, but this is a Gemini mailer. 
I got a Gemini mailer from Rob Boswell. Um, I don't remember what's in here. It says A-OK. -okay. Is this an A-OK? -okay? Is this an A-OK? -okay? Rob, is this an A-OK? -okay? Because I don't remember buying anything, but, you know, anybody that watches me buy stuff on the weekends, I, uh, I have a few cocktails on the weekends. You know what I'm saying? We can, I don't always remember everything I buy. So, Rob, is this an A-OK -okay from Rob Boswell? Is he in the chat right now? Oh, oh, by the way, you know Rob ain't going to play. <laughs> pull. Bam. So we are going to hit that pull tab. Bearded Comic Bro says he's excited for tonight's Modern Men. Very cool. Oh, this is sweet. Look at this. Where's Boswell, man? Where is he? Right, look at it. Random sticker goodness. Ooh. Oh man, you know we all love stickers. We all love me some stickers. And the, you know, the only issue with some of the stickers is the girls get a hold of them and then they're gone. But you know what? That's what it's about, <laughs> right? They're gone. Look at that daredevil. Sweet Hulk. Wow, there's a lot. There's a lot of stickers in here, man. Illuminati confirmed. There you go. No phone zone, man. I can't wait to put that up somewhere. Uh, asking Wi-Fi password more than once strictly prohibited. Yep, I can use a lot of these. These are great. Thank you very much on those, Rob. What else we got in here? He's got this is this is next level. <laughs> this is crazy. Rob's taking it to the extreme. Rob's taking the pull tabs to the extreme, folks. Pull, 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 pull. All right, let's pull the inners first. We're gonna work our way in or in out. So pull, pull, pull. Pull to reveal what the hell is this? Ooh, Daddy Light. What is this? <laughs> this is a card. This is a Star Wars card. It is a gold foil Empire Strikes Back. Ooh, gold foil Empire Strikes Back card. That is really cool. Very nice. We got stickers in a card. Now we'll pull the rest of these pull tabs. And that was that. So now we'll pull the last set of pull tabs. And this is just textbook. No tape touching any of the books. Just a couple extra backing boards. You know you got extra backing boards. You know you do. Because I throw the funky bags away, but I keep the backing boards just to pack stuff like that. I, I told myself the same thing. Now, now I've got like a three-foot stack that I don't know what to do with. Well, you got to ship, ship some books out. Ship some books out. That's what you got to do. All right, so this is an A-OK. -okay, so I have no idea what's in here. So let's see what we got. We're starting with Amazing Spider-Man number five variant. Amazing Spider-Man five variant. And I'm a huge Spider-Man fan, and I am absolutely collecting this run. I will tell you, the story arc of this run has not been good. Not compared to everything else. Else, But I do appreciate it because I am collecting that. Here's another amazing Spider-Man, number 38. But this is from the run before, I believe, right? Or is this one, this one with a different... 225, no, that's from the run before. Oh, yeah. 47. And 48. And then the final book is Wretches. Wretches, number one. This is the Comic Tom exclusive. Wretches number one. I didn't get that one. Oh, I see what you did. You heard me comment that I wanted this. Yes. I got the other one. Very cool. Rob Boswell coming through with the sweet A-OK. -okay. Man, I really appreciate you. Let's go ahead and take this off and go back to... Which, which camera do I want to go to? We'll go to this one. We'll put you back in the show over here. I am going to put you, this back on. That is really today's show, folks. Um, I don't have very much else beyond that. I did want to thank my guest one more time, Andy, for coming in. I appreciate you, Andy. I know that you're on some other stuff tonight. I'm going to pop you in the back so I can go full screen and play the full-blown outro for today. Um, I, if you have anything else to say, that was the time before I pop you in the back. Sorry, Andy. Hey, man. Uh, the layout's looking great. You can tell it's using the system resources a lot smoother. It's transitioning really well. I'm watching the live feed here. It looks great. Hey, Monday Night Modern Men on the Comic Core. Tuesday Night Golden Guys. 
Wednesday, the greatest comic book show ever, pun intended. Andy Given Thursdays, and then the Friday Comic Core Roundtable. There you go. There's the lineup, folks. You can catch Andy on all, well, not almost all, all of those, but you definitely on uh, uh, Thursday and Monday. Mm-hmm. Did you do the Friday night show or you're in the chat? I know you're in the chat. Sometimes Wednesday. Sometime Wednesday. Man. Yeah. All right. Thanks a lot, Andy. I appreciate you. I'm going to put you, pop you in the back there. I'm going to turn the overlay off and I'm going to go to back to the main one, which is this one. That's it, folks. I appreciate everybody who hung out for today's show. If you had a good time, go ahead and hit that thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, think about subscribing and hitting that bell. I've got lots of content. I'm actually trying to get together with Drew Manchu today. We may sell some comic books today. Not pop-up style, auction style. Look for that. That's why you got to have the bell on. As always, every, uh, as always, everybody, if you don't remember anything from the last 45 minutes, remember one thing. We had a good time. Peace, everybody. Thank you. Nice work, everyone. Sharp broadcast. Really good. Everyone on the floor as well. Really a lot of hustle. I liked it.